Hey guys, Hello Bella here. This video is going to be sort of a research slash what should I make my Merch by Amazon shirt about. This is for all of you who sometimes ask me, Bella, what niche do I go in? What do I make? And, you know, I'm not going to give away my niches, but I will say that I use this tool probably at least once a week to come up with some ideas to branch off of. This is the Merch Informer tool, and it is a paid subscription, and you can get 20% off using my code. I will leave it in the comment section. Uh, but that being said, this is just going to give you some shirts that have recently dropped in their rank. So they've recently started selling better, their best seller rank has improved and that's what's going to pop up on this page and I've got it sorted out by daily so I'm going to go over some of these not going to go over all of them but I will tell you if I think that it's a good niche to get into and whether or not I think it's overcrowded such as this um, salt shaker thing here this is extremely overcrowded I went and searched in Amazon to see how many of them there were and there was 2,000 search results when I typed in salt shaker costume so you know that's something that you may not want to mess with. Um, this has some cursing in it and it's a quote that I think could probably be attributed to Lizzo if you really wanted to so I probably would leave that alone as well. My favorite player calls me mom and it's a volleyball shirt. Nothing too interesting there so I probably wouldn't mess with any of those. Um, here we've got just a tennis racket. We've got problem solution. It's a guy going to play pool by himself which is kind of funny I guess. It says funny relationship and pool billiard shirt. So I would probably go into look at the billiards and pool niche. A lot of people don't know that billiards is related to pool so they might not know to use that particular keyword and that could be one of the main reasons why this shirt is selling because they certainly did not make use of their title. They could put a lot more in that title like this person over here has put tennis rackets and they've spelled rackets two different ways just to make sure that the people typing it in do get to see it. I would not have put that slash in there, that bar right there. I think that that is just doesn't look very good to the customer. ELL squad. So let's see what this niche is referring to. Something tells me it's either medical or education. English language learner. This is a school assistant. So this would be, in my opinion, a really great niche to get into. There's probably not that many of them up there. Let's go and just see how many we can find. Okay guys, I am able to find 171 results for the tag English Language Learner. I tried to type in ELL Squad and that would not work because it auto-corrected to ELF. So English Language Learner Squad would be the keyword that I would use. Now I think that most of these designs are going to be pretty like bubbly and fun and bright colors and one thing that I think that people could take advantage of is to put it on a different color shirt because these are all black shirts and when I think of teachers I think of like bright and happy colors. Let's scroll down a little bit to see if we find any more. Um, one thing that I could tell you is this would be a great niche to get into into. I don't even see any of these shirts matching what I even typed in. Yeah, most of these are not even relevant to the term that I typed in, so I think that I'll probably throw my hat in the race for that English language learner shirt. And one thing that I might do is see what other shirts that they have up. They may have protected their brand, and it looks like they did not protect their brand. So what I mean by when I say protected their brand is that if you have been doing merch by Amazon for any length of time, you know that if you put multiple t-shirts under the same brand that people will go in and steal all of your niches. So this just gave me the blueprint basically to a lot of underserved niches just by doing a little bit of digging. And I would never advocate to go through here and take their design. I'm advocating to take the concept of their design because they can't have um, the monopoly on the term reading specialist. That is something that we we should be able to find and make our own shirt with the term reading specialist and it should be able to sell. So ELL Squad, great niche. And for those of you who kind of want to know my thought process, this is one of the things that I do when I'm trying to come up with designs. Now conceptually, this is where I might lose some of you guys because you don't have as many slots as me. But knowing what I know about this shirt and knowing how well it's selling right now and how there's not very many other people who are in this niche. I would make about 15 different versions of the term 
ELL squad, English language learner, and I would basically try to dominate that particular phrase with my own shirt in the search results. And that's one of the ways that I've found success lately is just getting to something early enough and then really filling up the page with quality designs. You can't put crappy designs up. All right, now that we've gone over that example, let's scroll down a little bit more. Uh, proud class of 2022 senior. So we've got the very, very popular sunflower. If you guys don't know, sunflowers are extremely popular. Uh, we've got a horse shirt that just says beauty. Um, the tag people used was girls love riding horse box great beauty. That is horrible. This is a perfect example of what not to do with your title. They didn't even bother to capitalize anything. This just looks like maybe a, a fifth grader put this together and as a uh, class project or something. It just looks, the shirt itself is not horrible, but um, the title is really, really throwing me off. Okay, here we have a political one. This says unmatched masks, unmuzzled, unvaccinated, unafraid. And whether you think masks are good or bad, it's a very popular thing to get into right now. I mean, it just depends on how you feel about it. it I do think it's a little bit risky because YouTube and Amazon and really Google, all of these online platforms have really been censoring a lot of stuff lately. I've noticed just in the last couple of years, a lot of censorship happening with what we are allowed to post and say. So I think maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily worth risking your account for, but it's definitely a popular niche to get into. Here's another Halloween costume, at least what I think is a Halloween costume, this tequila shirt. Yeah, it says tequila, salt, and lime. Funny, matching Halloween t-shirt. This one says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And we've got the peace sign. We've got the daisy flowers. Oh, this shirt made me laugh so much. It says, sorry, ladies. I'm already like a brother to someone else. It's definitely like a guy who's being friend-zoned kind of shirt. Uh, in the title, it doesn't say anything except for the words that are in the shirt. They've got it priced at $15.99. Ollie, you need to go lay down. I'm trying to record a video and all I can hear is your nails on the ground. Get in your bed. Why do we have to do this every single time? My dog will sit still for six hours in the minute that I want to record a video. It's time to get up and walk around. It's time to drink water. All right, guys, let's pop over to the next page, see what else we can see here. We've got a shirt that just says bricklayer. We've got the American flag turned sideways on a black and white design. Uh, we've got, yes, I really do need all these guitars. So another concept that you can think about is whenever you see a phrase that kind of strikes you as interesting, you could say, uh, what could I substitute? this with. Yes, I really do need all these blank. And you can fill in the blank with things that you think a lot of people might want to collect. That's a concept that I use when I see a phrase that I think, oh, this could potentially be used elsewhere. This one just says, God, I let go, do your thing. It says thing, actually. So that one is just kind of a very simple design, but I love the text that they use. I love the font choice. I love the spacing and I love how big it shows up. So I think those are all good qualities. This is what an awesome 55 year old looks like. I really like this design. I think it's a very nice design. I really like the contrast of this light blue against the black. I like that they did um, some different font choices mixed in here. And I think that that is really niched down to 55 year old birthdays. So th I think that that's a good example. Here's another phrase that is in the education niche. This says, see the able, not the label. And they've got the puzzle pieces here. If you don't know, puzzle pieces usually represent autism. And the autism niche is very, very popular. It's very competitive. Let's see what they've put in their title. Yeah, they've put autism awareness, autistic spect spectrum, ASD in the title. So they've covered all the bases here. I like the um, color choice in this able, but I'm not crazy about the font mix here. I don't know that it necessarily looks great together, but hey, they're making sales, so don't want to be too critical of that. So that might be a niche that you can change out the um, disorder. Um, I mean, hate to say that, but you could change autism for lots of other disorders or learning disabilities, and then you could use the same phrase, see the able, not the label. Here we've got a Joe Biden shirt and a pro-Trump shirt. So right next to each other, you can see the dichotomy here of what is 
selling and whether you're however you lean politically i guess it's not a bad idea to get some sales from this i'm not above making sales for both parties i don't know how you guys feel about that maybe ethically you are a little bit stronger than me but hey i gotta feed my family and my dog children before anyone else so i'm all for making shirts for both niches and why not tap into the moderate niche while we're at it this is a shirt that just says dump him um, this shirt, this phrase actually lately has been really popular. A lot of people saying like, dump him sis. So that is actually a really popular phrase right now. This is really strange to me, but it's just a rainbow and it says dyslexia. I don't know how I feel. I mean, it just kind of seems odd to just not put like dyslexia awareness, dyslexia warrior, something of that nature. But that is another niche that seems to be really popular right now, the dyslexia niche. So I don't know, I never thought I'd be saying that, but I guess a lot of people want to raise awareness to these particular causes. Let's flip over to one more page here. I am going to be wrapping up the video, but we'll just scroll through really quickly and show you what's going on here. Hope that you guys did enjoy this. This is a little bit behind my thought process and kind of how I look at this sometimes when I'm trying to come up with ideas to make new designs and trying to just always be adding to my portfolio. Um, right now I've got um, around $2,000 in sales for the month of September so far, so hopefully it continues, but I will give you guys an update whenever the month of September is over. Until then, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.